In this video, I'm going to bring you with me as I get my first vending location. First off, I had a meeting to get to. I'm currently on my way to my first meeting about a vending machine deal. So this is a dealership, the dealership that I actually bought my car from, but I'm on my way to meet with the general sales manager and hopefully get permission to get a machine or two in there. I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. Alright guys, amazing news. I just got done with that meeting maybe an hour or two ago and went home. Whatever, the meeting went pretty good. Uh, he asked me to send him an email so we can verify at the board of directors. That, I mean, they're, they're a dealership there so he just can't say yes on the spot. Emailed him. You know, he hasn't got back to me yet. After the meeting, I got a message from a local oil chain shop that was interested in getting an outdoor soda vending machine. Within an hour of being told that he wants that vending machine there, I found a vending machine for $400, a drink machine. All right, let's go get this thing. So after finding the machine, me and my dad got in the van and we went to go check it out. This machine is a jolly good vending machine. I'm not sure when it was from. Um, by the looks of it, I'm gonna guess 1990s. The service date, there's actually a sticker on the coin mech that says it was last serviced in 1996. So this thing is pretty old. So this was a little bit of a risky move, but it was only $400. Now the person selling the machine owns a laundromat he had it indoors 24 seven and there was surveillance on this thing so it's not damaged in any way. It was actually tucked away in a cubby so the side art is in almost perfect condition, as good as it can be for that kind of an old machine. But yeah, he had it in there, he had soda in it and the only thing wrong with it is slot number three does not work which is a little sad because that's one of the big slots. And yes, the cooling still works, it is ice cold and it is still running so looks like we haven't got scammed quite yet. So we made a deal at $400 flat, and me and Marcus decided to go down there the next day. So I'll show you some footage of that. Marcus. <laughs> Got the F-150. His grandpa, very kind gentleman, lended it to us. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go get this thing. All right, we here. This is the location. We're picking up the vending machine. Marcus, yeah, we got the F-150, put this thing in. So me and Marcus made it, as you might have just heard in the video, and here's us loading up the machine into the truck. This machine is actually like seven or 800 pounds, so even with a skid loader, this thing is just absolutely so difficult to get loaded into a truck. Um, I think I kind of threw out my back uh, helping these guys put this thing in here. I actually couldn't even record us getting this thing in here because there was four of us and we could hardly do it. And as you can see, we got it strapped down really well and we couldn't fit it with the tailgate up. So that's how we're going to have to do it. So now that we had the machine all loaded up, we brought it down to our local grease monkey, as you can see in the video right here. But this thing took a lot of manpower to get this thing out. I think we had two of the employees there at grease monkey, just all pulling on this thing. It took four of us once again to get this thing out. And it probably took us 20 minutes just to shimmy it 180 degrees, which is just insane. But now that it's placed at the Grease Monkey, I'm going to go into the numbers for around two minutes here, maybe three minutes. So if you don't want to hear about numbers, please click away. But if you're like me and love numbers and want to find out the math on how much profit I'm making and how to optimize this thing and how it's doing right now, please stick around. So on average, um, we have soda bottle we have our soda cans that we buy from walmart for 50 cents a piece we live in the middle of wisconsin so the closest costco is about 45 minutes so driving there does just not make any sense on gas money so we just go to walmart get these for 50 cents a piece um we have six of the slots are soda currently and one is monster monster we get it a dollar 60 a piece now at the time of filming this video we also bought uh, a case of water uh, and we those average about 18 cents a piece but what they do nowadays is they make the plastic so thin that the water bottles start to compact in the vending machine we got quite a few complaints uh, two times people tried to vend a water bottle and it just didn't vend because it would crush each other and it had a hard time getting them out um, so we took the water out and we just put another soda pop in there uh, but yeah, so soda 50 cents, we sell them for a dollar, so 100% profit right there. Uh, water, we used to sell them for 75 cents, but that's off the table. If you were to sell water, I would get Dasani. They have harder bottles or maybe canned water. But, I mean, if it's 
if, if it costs too much to buy it there's no point uh, but monster is the big seller we have right now we get it for about a dollar sixty wholesale at Walmart like I said no point of going to Costco uh, and we sell those for two dollars and fifty cents now we are right next to a gas station with this vending machine so it got me a little bit worried but these employees they don't even want to walk 20 meters over to the gas station uh, they just want to vend out of this vending machine and all the people waiting in line there are literally just slots like it's it's an oil change place you drive in you get your oil done it takes 15 minutes and sometimes there are lines of cars for like five cars and each person is waiting an extra 15 minutes so there's sometimes there's people there for an hour and a half so these people want to get out of the cars and just buy something from the vending machine and we're actually undercutting the gas station with both of the soda and the monster on average gas station usually sell their monster for around 319 is what I found around the, our area and sometimes they have deals for like you, know, you buy two of them for five dollars but even at that we're still matching that um, in our vending machine so that's the numbers we do um, and as of right now we got approved to put products in the vending machine 11 days ago uh, almost two weeks now so yeah 11 days ago and last time I checked was three days ago and we had about we had eight dollars in cash and uh, around fifteen dollars in quarters um, you know I'm not rich enough to buy a coin counter so I just kind of estimated but around fifteen bucks in quarters eight dollars in cash so I mean sitting pretty at twenty three dollars and that's around probably 12 bucks of that is profit I don't know how many monsters were sold so that could be accounting for a lot of that but with the soda we do make a good profit so that's 